It's this, you know, a stroke of luck that I ended up on a, a neurofloor in between junior and senior year in college. Um, and after I graduated, they asked me to come back. And at that point in time, um, you know, I had a summer's worth of experience with neuro patients, and I really felt I made an impact in their lives. You know, it's a very desperate time often in the lives when you have a diagnosis, um, whether it be a tumor, or, um, you know, stroke, um, ALS, you know, or a brain aneurysm. You know, this is um, very frightening to so many people. So I think I was able to I was in a position to ease some of their fears and guide them, you know, each step of the way and then help deal with the consequences, you know, of the procedures. Patients would call me, you know, whether it's a headache or, you know, some cognitive issues, memory, short-term memory deficits, you know, I would listen. And then eventually I realized there was a theme that many of these patients would have some of these same symptoms. At that time, I would connect some of the patients together, patients who had similar surgeries, similar age groups, and they would talk. And then I said, you know, why don't we get everyone together in a room? And that's when our support group started. So it was actually was one of our patients. And she was a woman in her 40s, uh, a nurse who had a giant aneurysm. And she was undergoing new treatment at the time, the coils had just come out, she had surgery done, she had multiple clips. Each procedure she had symptoms and concerns and as we were talking we realized there was really nothing out there for the general public. It was she who said, you know, what do you think about starting a foundation? And she approached Dr. Ogilvy and me and said, what do you think about this? Initially it was just purely education and support. That was the need at the time. So when patients are diagnosed, you want information, and after it's done, you want the support. So those are the two primary goals. When you are hit with this, you are struggling <laughs> for anything, any guidance, you know, in terms of, you know, the medical piece, you know, will my loved one even recover? Will they be the same person? And how do you get through this? Like, how, as a family, are you gonna get through this? So I think the support network that the foundation offers is massive. In terms of the science, we've definitely made impact over the years in terms of some of the vasospasm treatments and in terms of treating aneurysms in general, some of the new devices that are out there. You know, all these start out with research. The monies that we've been able to give have been through people's fundraisers, you know, usually in honor of someone who's died. Um, you know, they've had a fundraiser and that money is given to a researcher and it's oftentimes seed money to get a larger grant. So it's, it's amazing, I think, it's amazing. I know we've had a huge impact.